It's your boy Chris here back in the editing studio. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use motion tracking on CapCut PC. I repeat, in CapCut PC, we're going to do motion tracking. Maybe you want to track someone's face, etc., etc. Let's get into it. This is really simple to do. Uh, so what we're going to do is we are going to find a video, right? And import your video. Obviously, you're probably already there. And what you want to do is you want to drag it in the timeline. So this is where things start to get a little weird. So listen closely. Step number one to set up motion tracking in CapCut PC is we need to double this clip and lay it over as B-roll. So uh, highlight this clip, right click, copy, and then above it, right click and paste it. We need the same clip over the top of it, if that makes sense. And then make sure that the clip above it is no has no audio. It usually, this one doesn't have any audio. Uh, you can go up there in the right hand tab and turn it down. And what we need to do here is highlight this clip above it and um, we need to figure out tracking. So go up here in the right hand corner of all these tabs and it says tracking, right? Uh, and actually let's figure out where we want to start the motion tracking here in CapCut PC. So this guy here, and again, this is just the video here. I can see if I can move it up a little bit. Um, I wanna see, I wanna start the motion tracking right there, just, just for this tutorial, right? So I'm gonna put a little divider in here or a little splitter, whatever you wanna call it. And then in this clip, I want to do the motion tracking. So I go up in the right hand corner and click on tracking and then I click motion track. And again, you can track faces doing this as well. And there a little square pops up right here. See that? So I'm going to put the little square on his face and do it almost like it's tracking his face, if that makes sense. And again, this is a really cool edit that a lot of people, you know, this can really spice up your videos. And then it asks you which direction you can do both. You can do forward. I kind of like the forward feature and then click uh, to start it, click start. And again, this takes a minute to kind of do, and it just kind of adds to, uh, it, it's a cool edit. It's really amazing. Say if you're doing like a podcast or something like that, and it can help just spice up your editing a little bit. And I use it all the time. All right, so CapCut has finished up doing the tracking and let's play it now. And you can kind of see the difference here and we'll all full screen this, click play. And remember, I, I chose where I started it. See the difference? right there that's where it pops in and you can tell the editing looks a lot cooler and it, it just it moves around a lot more and it's a great way to just kind of spice up your videos here let's get out of this full screen so hopefully this video helped you learn how to use motion tracking on CapCut PC. Hit me up in the comments if you have any questions or problems with it. I'm a normal dude and I will reply back to you. Please consider subscribing. I'm just a tech nerd with like 10 YouTube channels and I love video editing, etc., etc. All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. How to use motion tracking on CapCut PC. Peace out.